Howdy everyone, this is Locked Nuts, and you're watching a map tour of Dark Forest, the next chapter by Shanty Boys. Hopefully you'll stick around to see what happens. Howdy, 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 how are you guys doing today? Oh my goodness, I tell you what, I tell you what, today we get to go on a map tour of Dark Forest, the next chapter by Shanty Boys, with help from Mr. T-Bone39, hot dog, hot, hot dog. This little bad mamma jamma of a map is 28.23 megabytes to download and is very cross-platform friendly you you betcha so this little guy here has a lot of stuff going on with it uh for starters all the game modes that you start off with do start off with all this equipment if you want to you can sell it it's entirely up to you your standard dollar amounts do apply uh for moving forward um, and we have gone ahead and started this game off on new farmers mode that way you know what you start off when you jump into new farmers mode and speaking of jumping into new farmers mode let's take a look at this equipment all right guys so starting off with your equipment you do start off with one mac truck gotta love that forestry equipment one routine tree harvester a raptor gotta love that little bad mamma jamma and a ponzi bison get just a bunch of animals gotta love it pretty darn slick front loaders you do start off with one class front loader and you also start off with one class wheel loader so that's a nice one two combo and forestry equipment wise you start off with one mulcher and then one flegal timber trailer so that's pretty cool front loaders you do start off with the pallet fork so that's kind of nice wheel loader you do start off with the log fork so if you guys are out there doing your bits and pieces you're not going to have to start swip swapping equipment around just to be able to handle stuff you can get both your bad mamma jammas out there and start rocking and rolling now let's go ahead and take a look at that map all right everyone and here you go this is the map <laughs> there's not uh there's not a lot to it guys there really isn't you have an animal dealer you have one cell point over here it's a sawmill uh it just it's just a sawmill for wood chips and then the factory or production side of things you can go ahead and get that uh you have your one gas station and your vehicle shop that's it that's all that's on the map. There's not there's nothing to it. All of this area out here is trees. So let's go ahead and take a look at the farmland. You do start off with one large chunk, and there is a fair amount of trees on there to say the least. But guys, there is only one, two, three, four, and five plots of land on here. With this one down in the corner being the absolute cheapest at $116,000. And this one right here with the water on it being your most expensive coming in at $224,000. Uh, so not too bad at all. This one over here is two nineteen. dollars So if you want to start on uh, new farmer mode, sell that. It's entirely up to do you and you can get what you want. Um, there's just, there's not a lot to it, guys. You have trees, you have wilderness, and that's about it. What more could you really go ahead and ask for? So let's get down on the ground and start taking a look and seeing what this map actually looks like all right everyone so this map because there's really not a whole lot to it uh for roads or anything like that i think one of the things that we're going to go about doing here is we're going to jump up into the sky right away and fly around and take a look at that um normally i like to drive around and look at things but going aerial is probably the best bet uh, but what I will do is here, I will turn the map on in the corner of the screen here. Um, as a reminder, we are kind of starting off with all that equipment is. We're going to kind of fly around up by the lake and then, oh, just take a peek at things. Maybe we'll actually, you know, maybe we'll go ahead and take a look at that road real quick. Let's do that. So let's get ourselves up in the air here and kind of uh, go along on this road. It's a little fast here. Uh, let's go along on this road here. So it's not too shabby. As you guys can go ahead and see here. 
Uh, the road that you got, it actually is fairly wide. It is fairly flat. You are going to be able to drive vehicles through here. But the landscape is uh, kind of bumpy. Now, one of the things is I have trees turned down a little bit, so I'm not rendering everything all out there. Uh, I'm not going to lie. My computer would not like it if I had to try and render in all these trees. But this is actually kind of nice because it gives us that opportunity to kind of see what the landscape looks like out here. It's not a flat map. You're going to have obstacles. You're going to have bumps and lumps and bruises. So kind of keep that in mind is when you're going ahead and looking at this. We might not hit absolutely everything, hit all the bells and whistles, everything underneath the sun, but you're at least going to be able to see that, you know, we do have a lot of stuff out here. Um, so coming down over here, you do have your one fuel station. It's, well, it must be credit card only because, uh... I don't know if there's anybody out here. <laughs> Maybe it's gas on the honor system. I don't know. That'd be kind of nice uh, the way prices are right now. So let's continue on down the road. Um, as we kind of come up to this clearing right here where, where the sawmill is, um, you know, you have tons and tons of space out here. Now, I, I've never played on a strictly forestry map where you have all these trees on here but to be able to go ahead and start cutting down the trees and making your own space that seems awfully awfully cool possibly going ahead and getting yourself this chunk of land right here and this is just me maybe like this chunk of land right here and doing some a little bit of farming on here doing some farming on this plot since everything's already cleared and then doing your lumber is like a little side hustle i don't know i mean the the options are completely up to you uh let's go ahead and we're going to slide back down here on the road and one of the things i'm going to do i'm going to slow down here for just a second so we can kind of take a look back in here um now taking a look at what you're seeing over here the the land is not super super dense with trees there is quite a bit of space in between here it's a lot of overgrowth uh all over the place you may end up having to use that mulcher to really kind of knock down some of this bush but i don't really think you're gonna have to worry about it now when i say that you know there's a lot of space in between here you have a lot of mature trees pretty much that's all you end up getting you got mainly large mature trees and as far as my computer will render out you're fine. You can, there are trees. There are trees. Uh, guys, comment down below right now. Would you like to see somebody go ahead and completely deforest this map? I would love to see that. And just to see how many man hours it would actually take. Uh, like I said, this map is cross-platform friendly, so that means you could possibly get a large group of people out and about to go and start rocking and rolling. Um, now, myself, personally, I kind of like this edge plot here. Uh, this one is one long edge plot. It'd be kind of neat to go ahead and set my shop up right along the edge of the water here, but that's just kind of how I am. I like I like the idea of that. Uh, okay, I lost the road there for just a second. We'll hop on down over here, and I believe this is the animal dealer right here, just kind of tucked off in the middle of nowhere. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Now, you can go ahead and put all the production items on. Uh, they're not here for you to physically... Yeah, I mean, as you can see, there's there's nothing on here. You have their sawmill, and that's it. But it's not called Dark Sugar Forest or Dark Flower Forest. It's just, it's the Dark Forest. Um, so... That stuff just doesn't make sense to have on here. Unless you want to go ahead and put it on there yourself. Um, ultimately, guys, I mean, there's a lot of time and effort and money in all of these woods. Just tons of it. So if you guys have that opportunity, hop on out here. Take a peek at it. Comment down below. Let me know what you would want to do. Would you be a strictly a forestry type person? Or would you really want to go ahead and kind of have that pioneering attitude? Where you can go ahead and um, knock down the trees, cut all the trees down, and then make your own farm. Clear the land. It's entirely up to you. Let me know what you guys would think, and if you guys are liking what you're hearing, liking what you're seeing, go ahead and smash that like button. I really would appreciate it. 
Oh my gosh, hit that subscription. It really does help the channel out. Hit the notification bell, have it set to on at all. That way you know when this and other great videos are coming out by myself. Guys, this is super cool. It is a forestry, forestry map. Gosh darn it all. Share it with a lumberjack that you know. I think that's the only thing you can do at this point. Guys, <laughs> until I see out in the woods, don't get lost. And thanks for stopping by.